You just aren't what she needs anymore, Joy. <gasps> How dare you, madam? You can't just bottle us up! Oh, that's a great idea! <laughs> What's up, Slurpheads? By now, you've probably seen Inside Out 2, where Riley's mind gets some new roommates. Embarrassment, ennui, envy, and anxiety. But it turns out, those weren't the only emotions Pixar had in mind. There were some wild and fascinating concepts that could have taken the movie in a totally different direction. So today, we're diving into the almost forgotten emotions of Inside Out 2. Stick around as we speculate on what could have been and what might still come in future installments. Let's get into it. Coming in first on our list is shame. Shame was one of the 27 emotions originally picked for Inside Out's development. Pixar took the route of designing shame as a male emotion at first, but throughout the development process, they decided to give shame a makeover, turning it into a female character, aiming to make her the fifth new emotion instead of nostalgia. She was supposed to serve as the antagonist of Riley's mind, but spoiler alert, she got the boot for giving the film too much of a heavy feel and not quite in line with what the studio was aiming for. Producer Mark Nielsen and director Kelsey Mann spilled the beans, saying Shame's character was just too tough to redeem. So they took her traits and mixed them into anxiety, making it a more relatable way to tackle those lovely feelings of inadequacy and insecurity we all know and love. In an interview with Radio Times, Mann said, the feeling of shame. It's still in the movie, but it's done not through a character you know. That thought of not being good enough, that's really a lot of what shame deals with. So that's still in the movie, but it's not represented in this character. Mon revealed that the team tried to make the character work, but it ended up being too dark, and in his words, too far. Pixar's goal was for the film to resonate with people and be meaningful, while also making viewers want to come back and watch it again. Number two, guilt. Guilt was another emotion tossed around the pre-production drawing board for the sequel. Just like shame, guilt was considered a vital part of Riley's emotional roller coaster during her teenage years. But the filmmakers decided that cramming in guilt, along with a bunch of other emotions, would just turn the story into a chaotic, confusing mess. So they zeroed in on a smaller set of emotions we see in Inside Out 2 to better capture Riley's complex experiences without turning the movie into an emotional traffic jam. Early sketches of guilt show a short, stout purple character with a huge backpack and another version lugging around a ball and chain. The later designs ramped up the burden, giving guilt even bigger and heavier backpacks and luggage, symbolizing the weight of carrying guilt. These early guilt concepts sported various body shapes, but they all had one thing in common. They were sweating profusely. Number three, jealousy. Jealousy was initially planned as one of the new emotions, but got the ax because it was too similar to Envy, the greeny-blue, wide-eyed character that did make it to Riley's control room. The creators struggled to clearly differentiate jealousy from Envy, causing worry that would confuse the audience too much, especially as they considered making jealousy and Envy identical twins. But ultimately, they decided that Envy could effectively serve the narrative alone. In the early drafts of the script, the emotion of jealousy was considered for headquarters. Being a teenager involves a lot of comparing yourself to others, which is where the character would come in. Inside Out, too, focuses on how anxiety can take over, causing Riley to question her identity and change as a person. While jealousy could have influenced this theme, Envy already serves a similar purpose in the film, acting as anxiety's enabling sidekick. Including both envy and jealousy might have created some amusing duo moments, but since kids already find it challenging to grasp complex emotions like anxiety, adding jealousy could have made the story more confusing. Number four, schadenfreude. Schadenfreude, the twisted joy from others' misfortunes, was another emotion on the table for Inside Out 2. But just like the other mixed emotions, it was deemed too complex and negative for the film's vibe. The filmmakers aimed to tackle real, relatable emotions while keeping the story accessible and engaging for younger audiences. So, Schadenfreude got the boot in favor of more universally relatable emotions like anxiety and envy. A deleted scene from the Target Edition Blu-ray of Inside Out features Schadenfreude laughing at an early version of Fear's Cries of Pain, even saying, Oh, your cries of pain amuse me, in a German accent. There's no doubt the inclusion of such a character could have offered some hilarious, albeit dark moments, 
providing a different perspective on the emotions Riley experiences. At number five, awe. Awe was another emotion considered for Inside Out 2, designed to embody feelings of wonder and amazement. Awe's early concept design was featured in The Art of Inside Out 2. This emotion was unique among potential characters as it was not colorized. Two different designs were shown for Awe, one depicted as a cute, chubby baby, and the other as a positive surfer dude. Other early concept designs show a Awe depicted as a happy old hippie and a buff frat boy. Personally, I think the inclusion of awe as an emotion in Inside Out 2 wouldn't have caused confusion for audiences like some of the others would have. Awe, with its unique depiction as either a cute chubby baby or a positive surfer dude, offers clear distinction from joy. While joy represents happiness and positivity, awe embodies a sense of wonder and amazement, providing a different emotional experience. This clear differentiation would allow Awe to stand alone as a character, enriching the emotional landscape of the film without overlapping with Joy's characteristics. Coming in at number six, Suspicion. Suspicion was one of the emotions considered for inclusion in Inside Out 2, designed to represent feelings of mistrust and doubt. Early concept art depicted Suspicion as a character in a cloak, adding to its mysterious and cautious nature with a furrowed brow and a posture of constant vigilance. One early design also portrayed suspicion with a notepad, presumably jotting down concerns, further emphasizing its wary nature. However, like many other potential emotions, suspicion was ultimately cut to maintain narrative clarity and avoid overwhelming the audience with too many characters. And now for our bonus entry, the SS Brainfart Crew. Although no, a standalone emotion that was considered for Inside Out 2, Personally, we think this idea is awesome and deserves recognition. The SS Brainfart crew was an idea developed during the production of Inside Out 2, but ultimately did not make it into the final film. This concept was intended to bring a humorous element to the movie, possibly as a gag involving characters that seem to operate a boat. The SS Brainfart crew included quirky, memorable characters designed to capture the whimsical and unpredictable nature of the human mind including Captain Gale. The concept art depicted these characters as part of an amusing and chaotic team, which we're sure would have added a playful humorous touch to the narrative. Although we didn't get to meet the SS Brainfart crew in Inside Out 2, there's plenty of room for brain farts in future Inside Out installments from Riley as she gets older. And from personal experience, trust us on this one. Speculation is swirling about other emotions that were storyboarded but got the ax from Inside Out 2. Concept art shows some mysterious, unnamed characters, but who knows? With Inside Out 2 killing it at the box office, we're sure Pixar and Riley will be back with a whole new bunch of emotions. Maybe we'll finally see awe, suspicion, and a bunch more on the big screen. What other emotions do you think got cut from Inside Out 2? And which ones would you love to see in Inside Out 3? Drop all your thoughts and theories in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.